Hi, I'm Kelly from Kelly J Jewelry. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this little pendant. It's quite a simple one this time. It's made using only two base wires and it's using a 3-3 weave throughout. I really like these little crescent moons and I think this design really shows off the stone so it doesn't hide any of the stone. You can elaborate on this design. You can make it with extra wires if you wanted to and you can add beads. It's entirely up to you. I've written a list in, in the description below of everything you'll need to make this pendant along with links to my website and my Facebook page. I'd love to see all your finished work on there on Facebook. To make this pendant you'll need 0.8mm wire, that's 20 gauge, and I've got two lengths at 13 inches, that's 33 centimetres. 0.315mm weaving wire, that's 28 gauge, and you'll need approximately 400 centimetres. Wound mine onto a bobbin. These are bobbies by Beadsmith, and I find that depending on how much wire you weave onto it, you wind onto it, um, that adds sufficient weight, because they do do these in weighted, but I think the wire adds enough weight. And this one is 45 millimetres. You'll need a crescent moon cab for this pendant. I'll be using quite a, a slim one, come in all different shapes and sizes. This one is 35 millimetres by 12 millimetres across there. And I've got a little 3 millimetre bead. Tools, I'll be using wire cutters, um, uh, your favourite pliers and round nose pliers. All my tools are Tronics. And I've put affiliate links below if any of you are thinking of buying new tools. My preferred pliers are the bent nose. I go for the extra fine tip ones. Also there's the uh, nylon pliers but don't worry if you don't have these because you can just straighten the wires with your fingers. There is a link for those as well below. So everything is written below in the description for everything you'll need and the affiliate links to all the tools. So we're going to start weaving five and a half inches from the beginning of your wires, that's 14 centimetres. So we're going to start three wraps around the bottom wire. And then three wraps around both wires. And that's our repeat. So I did 15 repeats of that. You need to do as many repeats as it takes to get across the back of your stone. So now we need to cut the weaving wire at both ends. And flatten those ends down a little with your pliers if you've got any sticky out bits. And push your weave together to keep it all nice and tidy. So I'm going to put a slight bend in the weave. Just a little bend. We want it to sit quite high on the back of the stone. And then holding the back firmly in place, bring your wire completely round and up to the front. And do the same for the other side, holding the weave at the back in place Bring the wire around and over to the front. 
and they want them to be nice and symmetrical. Take that wire, go around again, both sides. So we've got this shape. So you need to really pull on these wires so they're nice and tight around the stone. Back of mine is straightened out. If you're if you've got a, a, a thicker stone, you may want to put more of a curve on that. So now take your weaving wire and we're going to weave over these side wires. And we'll start with three wraps around the bottom wire. And three wraps around the two wires. And that's our repeat. As before, three wraps around the bottom wire and then three wraps around both wires. So I've done 15 repeats of that 3-3 three, three weave. Put the weaving wire off. Now I'm going to take this weave, I've pushed it right back so it goes behind the stone there. Now I'm going to bend this weave directly over the front of the stone and gently arc it up like that. So I'm going to cut the other end of that weaving wire as well. I'm going to do the same for the other side. 15 repeats of this 3-3 weave over these two wires. So it matches this side, we need our single coils to be along the top wire this time. So we'll wrap three times around that top wire. Push it down into place. And then we'll have three wraps around the both wires and we'll repeat that 15 times. Like me and you prefer working with the coils single coils on the bottom then just turn your piece over and work from the back it's a bit easier to get your weaves on that way so I've done 15 repeats of that one cut that weaving wire I'm going to do the same with this one, bend it over the front of the stone and scoop it up gently. We want to finish with all our wires facing straight up. So make sure you pull all your weaves down so it's all nice and compressed. I like to just press my weaves down with my pliers. I'm going to take the outer wires and just pull them out for now out the way. And we're going to work on the two middle wires. So 
we're just weaving now on the two middle wires we'll go three times around the bottom wire and three times around the both wires so we're doing the same weave again we're doing that three three weave three wraps around the single wire and then three wraps around the two wires and we'll do 12 this time we'll do 12 repeats of that we've done 12 repeats of that we're going to bend it at the base over to the side to the right and then we're going to bend it around to the left like that and now take this wire to the right and I'm going to scoop that around To follow the shape and I'm going to put my little three mil bead onto that wire then I'm going to take this wire that's to the left bend it Back at the base so it follows the weave around so now I'm going to take the wire with the bead I'm holding all the top together firmly. I'm going to bend that around to the back. And down to the front like that. And these two, put that over there right away. So these two wires now, holding them together, I'm going to scoop them around, bend them around that little weave. And it's only a little weave and I've got to try not to squash it too much. So going back to the weave here. I'm going to add a few more repeats onto that 3-3 three, three weave again going three times around both wires three times around the bottom wire I'm going to add about another four repeats onto that weave. So you can really do anything you like with these wires. As soon as you've joined them at the top, you could add a bale if you wanted to. I'm going to cut off some weaving wire. Just cutting the bobbin off. 
and I'm going to take this weave around to the back and being careful not to put any sharp bends in the wire I'm going to bend it around that little weave and around to the front I need to get my weaving wire line there as well. And I need to add a few more repeats. But like I say, you really can do anything you want with these wires now. I'm going to add a few more repeats and then finish this off into a few curls along this weave. Sorry about that, I didn't know I was off the camera. I've added more repeats on there and you must keep pushing your weave together as you go. And I'm going to finish that with a curl there. I'm going to take this wire through the middle, round again. That will secure it onto the weave and hold it in place. And I'm going to finish that one with a little curl in the other direction. So with this last bit of weaving wire, I'm just gonna add more coils to this one. weaving wire and I can finish it off now I'm going to cut that wire I'm going to cut this wire about there These two, <clears throat> I'm going to curl this one down to finish this one off. And I'm going to bend this one around to the back and cut that off quite short. Secure that by pressing it into the weave. So that's all held down securely too. And I shall finish that one off with a little curl as well. So now I just need my round nose pliers. So I'm going to curl this one this way and then this one goes the other way. And then this one comes in this way. I hope you can see that, it's looking a bit dark. It is so awkward to do this behind the camera. So there we go, finished thing. I'm just going to have a little tweak with those curls. Oh, and I forgot to mention, you'll need a little jump ring for the top. Mine's 10mm outside measurement. So there you go. Little crescent moon idea pendant for you. If you'd like to make it more complex, you can start with more wires. And then you'll have more wires to play with as they come together here at the top. And you can do a lot more with it. If your crescent is slim and quite dinky like mine, then just the two wires adds quite a nice effect to it. Hope you found this tutorial easy to follow. 
and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!